my subject is breathless Delhi, and uh, this is something which is uh, part of uh, my existence in Delhi for last uh, almost uh, 40, no, 35 years actually. Uh, before I talk about breathless Delhi, that's a book which I am writing with uh, Simran Gupta sitting in the audience. Uh, it's a book which talks about why Delhi has such a high degree of air pollution. And uh, before we talk about why Delhi has a serious air pollution issue and how Delhi is collapsing, we are the world capital as, as per WHO for air pollution. You also need to understand the mentality of Delhi, why we are so proud of having most polluted city tag on us. So when I came in Delhi in 1989, on the very first day in college, I was told a very interesting fact. The interesting fact was that Aapko pata hai, tino metro se jada Delhi mein hai. So that is the answer to the problem of Delhi. The very clear fact is, we are very proud to own so many cars and uh, misuse of cars. We buy second-hand cars and we put plastics on them in Karol Bag or Agarpura. We bring them back on the road. If we have a ban from the courts that we will not use the cars which are 10 years old or 15 years old, we file petitions after petitions in National Green Tribunal. We'll go high courts, we'll search out, we'll change the law and we will not succumb to it. When you ban something to ensure that Delhi breathes clean air, you will exempt the scooters, which are two-stroke scooters, which have a legacy problem of bad technology, and you will expect them to pollute the city. You will prosecute the cars, which are BS4 or BS, BS5 or BS6, which are actually not that polluting, because that's a pure electoral politics. So in 2015, I was forced after my father's sudden death because of uh, liver and lung cancer, who never smoked in his life, who never had any major disease, he never had non-vegetarian food, and the doctor said that he used to travel by metro, he used to go by autos, and he must have consumed a lot of fume coming all around. Now that's his story. Indian Medical Association has said so many times, that the pregnant woman and the young children, when Prasen came and spoke, children of that age, when they go to school, they are more prone to air pollution. But the best part is we don't even worry about it. So 2015, I filed a petition in Delhi High Court in my own name. I used to do almost for 15, 20 years environmental law practice, and I never thought I will do any petition in my own name. But I did a petition because I was so desperate, and already there were four or five petitions pending in the National Green Tribunal and the Supreme Court of India. When I did that petition, I actually never made Ministry of Environment Forest a party. I made Ministry of Health and Family Welfare a party. And I said, I want to live in this city. I don't want to die breathless. The court said, what is this prayer? I said, because the rest of them are asking for compensation if they die of air pollution. Or they are saying, ban this car, ban that bus, ban this diesel, ban construction. I'm not asking for ban. I don't want a compensation. I just want to live in the city. How will I live in the city? You regularly are topping the chart as the best heritage city in the world, at par with Cairo, at par with Istanbul. But you also top the chart that you are the most polluted city in the world. And you care a damn. And why that happens? So in the court, I realized a very unique situation. And I thank Dr. Anurag Batra for this opportunity to tell it in a platform like TEDx. That as a city of Delhi, we are more like Afghanistan. That is what my realization is after being in the court for 7 to 8 years now. My matter is still pending. How, how do I compare that? You have one city which is ruled by multiple political parties, multiple governments, and each blaming the other guy for the day. The pollution. If you had seen the chaos of Kabul airport in the pandemic, that was the scene which used to happen there. Nobody was in charge. And the people were actually running after their own And the turmic. We are also doing the, exactly the same thing. You have the posters in this city by a particular political party that Punjab se hawa hai, hum kya kare. When you have the political government in Punjab chains, then it was said that Punjab has no problem, there are other factors which are contributing. And then you're, as an electoral nation, you actually think what Prasen said, that 
that it's not a problem, it's a confusion, it's some kind of eyewash. There is no actual reason for feeling that there is an emergency. So in the court, petitions after petitions, which were clubbed with my petition, I saw somebody saying dust is to blame, somebody saying uh, the cars are good but the scooters are bad. Okay, let's do odd even. Okay, let's buy four more cars to beat the odd even factor. Okay, we have one particular building in defense colony or in Jangpura. Okay, I need a car to go to buy vegetables from other Delhi. I need a car to go to Delhi University. I need a car to show up that I have got new plastics on the, on the seats of the, on the car. That's the kind of society we live in actually. So the governments are not going to do because you are not going to demand it. How do you demand something if you want action? That is what I realized in court. That Parali, for the first time actually this year, you go out and you will see there is a clean sky. The only reason is not because of court intervention. It's not because of government action. It's because of the air, which is actually, you have good wind this year happening. So it all has taken it away. But there is one state, which is state of Haryana, which has tried to make you less breathless. They have burned 45% lesser this year. So you are breathing a little better here. But you have other states who have not, who have not stopped. I was traveling to Amritsar in Shatabdi and I was shocked to see all through the way there were burning happening and the election was going on. Peak of election of Punjab. You have the same political party now at both the places. Are you demanding that I want to breathe in this city? The Indian Medical Association says when we petitioned them and when we asked them, why don't you actually write that the air pollution is the reason for this person's cancer? They are not writing it. So you percolate. So what people are saying in Delhi now? They are saying, and the easy thing is to ban. Because that's very easy to ban. You have a flyover construction happening in Ashram, which has taken multiple deadlines have been missed on that. And you go and watch. One day a radio jockey, Guinea, she made a video out of it. 14 or 20 people were working on that. Nobody is demanding. So there is a collective failure of this. When I said compare it with Afghanistan, I mean we are actually in a Kabayi kind of culture. We have many people to run the city. We have shallows. We are walking in shallow. We have no coordination with each other. And we don't have a will to change the entire thing. So I will say that what did I finally do? So like if you have seen Sadma movie, the old time of social scene, Kamalasan tried everything. Then finally he started doing all kind of shows to just make people understand what is the real point. So we started doing a book where we thought that the only hope now left is the youth. The age group, like person's age group and even less than that. Now how that matters because in schools they are saying don't use the firecrackers. Now if you don't have firecrackers in this Dipavali, there was a major grievance to any particular part of the party. Now, why we were not allowing firecrackers, we allowed in other states. You are not even listening to anyone. You are not even looking at the data. But when your child says that don't burn it, you start thinking about it at least. So the only hope is that there is a story behind it. So in 2007 or 8, I was doing a petition. And that's the highlight. If we can do something like this, it is equal to the Chipko moment of Uttarakhand, where women actually went and put their trees like this. And they said, we'll not let you cut. So somebody has to make that kind of momentous Beginning like what happened after Nirbhaya's death, where the people were on the street for days and weeks. Unless you do that, air pollution is not going to be a political issue and it will not be addressed. And we also have to start introspecting it. And the most important part is that in this book, we are not giving gyan to you. We are telling you how do you protect yourself from air pollution? What all products you should consume? What should the direction of your house? How do you get better with? Let me tell you all these kind of uh, talk you see the advertisements in the newspapers about air purifiers. Anybody has realized the reason why there are so many advertisements and so many articles about air pollution also? Because those air purifiers make you even more dependent. You are not good enough to go out in the open Lodi garden kind of setup. Because you are so dependent to a conditioned thing. So this book is actually talking about options. It is trying to tell people. Try to One day you try to take a Metro. I just did it four or five days back. I from my office in Defense Colony. I just thought I'd go in the day to home, just have lunch. Dr. Batra, I managed to reach in 48 minutes. It was empty. It is better than London Metro. 
but we have a social issue. If somebody will see me, I am going in there, what will happen? So we have a lot of mental, feudal, social issues governing. <coughs> and most important is, there is no debate. Whatever debate is happening, it's all yeah. So the last thing is, which I will leave this with an example. Mongoose, Nevla, Bhosh, Shubman, Saab Kumar, Deta. Uski hatya hoti thi. Pure North India, it was big kid. Wherever you will find Mongoose, a lot of big companies were involved. Its fur was used for make the best paint brushes. For painting, that was the best brushes. The best painters in the world used to use it. So, there was a green Oscar movie which was made by a guy called Mr. Fayaz. It got a green Oscar. We used that as an instrument. And we showed it to many schools. When we showed to the schools, more than 600 postcards were sent to Delhi Chief Justice. And finally, a petition was filed in Delhi. And then that petition led to actually upgrading of mongoose to a schedule where tiger and elephants are protected. And that changed and protected that animal forever. Thank you. Thanks a lot.